hey guys, there are a lot of ways to change a traditional corporation. You can build speed builds, you can do M&A. Maybe the hardest thing is to do true internal change. And here are the 10 lessons of Robert, the Chief Digital Officer of the 150-year-old mutual life insurer, the LV1871, from the beautiful city of Munich, Germany. Hey guys! We are here today at the LV1871 and we are um, going to hear 10 tips from Robert, their CDO, how to transform a 150-year-old insurance carrier. Hello, Robin. Hey, nice to meet nice you. Nice again. to meet you. <laughs> so today we're talking about the things you guys have learned in the last three years where you worked on your transformation and we've seen it also in the building and with the teams. And so what is your first learning? Um, I cannot speak for everybody, but my first learning was, or it, or it was of great help for me, to um, build some models to give uh, this whole transformation and digitalization thing a structure. Uh, we started with a comparison model with uh, digital, with real digital companies, and we applied it to the LV with all the department heads and had this comparison, and this was our start. Second, we built another model where we divided digitalization into four dimensions. Dimension one is digital enabling. This is in fact concerning our core business. Yeah. This is what we started in 1934. We talked about yeah. it with, uh, we bought three or uh, two or three Hollerit machines from, the, from IBM. But don't worry, they're not in use anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, we're out of date, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere. This is, of course, uh, typically a process automation, process mining, and things like that. Um, and of course, uh, digital channels to, uh, in direction of the customers, in direction of the brokers, and all these things. Besides uh, digital enabling, we have the dimension of digital expansion, where we try uh, to get into new markets, to uh, get into new distribution channels. And one, How did you do it here? We have one uh, very good example, which is uh, LiftRT. Look that up. Uh, we're selling term insurance digitally and uh, in Austria. And I think it's very good. It's with a chatbot and we can experiment, we can try out new things. And this helps us for the core business, of course. Again. Mm -hmm. The next dimension is digital innovation, where we try to build real new business models yeah. apart from, from insurance business. Yeah. Um, and we have also two examples here, which is uh, 71 Circus. It's like an internal approach? Uh, it's, a, it's an internal approach. We, we uh, founded a venture yeah. uh, called 71 Circus and they released a platform called Ferienlux, which helps uh, parents uh, to find um, activities for their children during school holidays, which is a big issue in Germany. It has to do with our mission, yeah. which is to improve life quality of people. Yeah. So uh, they work in line with our mission, but they are not forced to do a core insurance business. So we have more opportunity to learn from building new business models and building new platforms. To find and experiment with new access to customers, to people, we try to help them. We want them to have a better life. And this is our mission, in fact. And 71 Circles also accounts for this mission. But you also work together with external innovators, with startups. Yes, what do you yes. do there? We are founding member of the InsurTech Hub Munich, um, together with 12 insurance company partners. Uh, Shout out to the team. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Yeah. Hi guys. We cooperate with startups. Uh, we have accelerator programs. For example, if you know NECT in yeah, Germany, yeah. Uh, we built the first prototype. Hamburg company, by the way. <laughs> we built the first prototype yeah. with them. Ah, I didn't know that. Cool. Uh, yeah, cool. for burial insurance. Yeah, they're winning a lot of prizes in there. Yes, I see. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Afterwards. <Yeah. laughs> and greetings to Carlo. Yeah, hey guys. <laughs> well, and all this together yeah. results in the digital transformation. You can have a look at it here. Uh, this is our uh, digital transformation landscape and it shows 
how our colleagues, how everyone in the company has to transform, how he has to learn new things, how we have to go into new business areas and this helps us again to understand how we have to change. So how about the colleagues at LV1871? So how do you try to integrate them? Well, they got great knowledge, they got great skills and the only thing we have to do is make them proud of their skills and how, their knowledge. And how do you guys do that? Um, for example, we have a public coding dojo what is that? for Java. Um, a dojo, it's derived from uh, Asian uh, martial arts, yeah. you know. Uh, this, is for, this is for practicing, this is for practicing uh, their skills in uh, software development. Yeah. And we opened it to the public almost uh, four years ago or so. Um, we have about 500 members and we share knowledge with uh, the people from, from outside. We have uh, internal trainers for, yeah. for our dojo, uh, which are quite well known in the scene already cool. uh, in the meantime. And second, we are also uh, doing a lot of meetup hosting. So we hosted design thinking meetup, lean startup meetup, software crafts meetup, and so lots of more things where, where people can come from outside into our company. And of course, we show them how we work and uh, how we uh, cooperate with the meetup organizers. So we can again share a lot of knowledge and um, well, we can improve. Cool. So you open the doors of the company and let people in uh, after hours and having a meetup? Yes, yes, certainly. Cool. Next tip is uh, use agile methods, but don't use them only to get more efficient, to become more effective, but uh, they are of great use, if you do it right, uh, to change your culture. We started already in 2002 with Agile Methods, then with... Uh, when it, when it still was not cool yet. <laughs> when it still was... Well, it was cool then, but yeah. it was not so much as, as so well known. Yeah. Uh, we started with extreme programming, we had Kent Beck here, and um, it was quite good to start with ex uh, extreme programming, by the way. And this helped us a lot with cultural change over the years. And we had the, the big rollout in uh, 2012, 10 years later. So the whole IT and other departments started okay. to work with Scrum cool. and Extreme Programming. This changed a little bit the way we interact with the outside world also. Okay. Because we learned, well, we have to improve our skills. We have to focus more on our skills and our knowledge. And our colleagues, they really have good knowledge. They have great knowledge. And this is what we began to share. I think we come to the last uh, tip yes. already. Let young, new colleagues learn Scrum, Lean Startup, design thinking and everything during the first six months. And then make them ambassadors for digital transformation when they go into their departments. They will learn it, they will learn it fast, let them do the uh, first projects. I think you, you, you recorded a video about yes, that. Yes, about I mean the it. Creative yes, about Yes, yes. And because they will bring this knowledge and this way of working, this way of thinking into the departments when they uh, go into their, in their business areas. But how do you concretely organize it? So you have a January 1st, 50 new trainees starting at your company. So how can you organize this? Do you know Lina Luna? Yeah. She can. <laughs> it's as simple as that. She can. No, but co concretely, do you like do they have dedicated workshops? Do you have like two or three weeks where they learn these methods? Do they have the offsites, or how do you organize it? Yes, yes, there are offsites, there are workshops, there are trainings. Uh, they have mentors helping them building things like, for example, Young Insure, yeah. or uh, now the new uh, platform for knowledge management yeah. and uh, trainings. So they really learn it by doing. They're really doing real projects. Yeah. Young Insure is online. Yeah, yeah. Um, you, you can. You can have a look at it. I think it's great. And uh, so, well, that's learning by doing. So, if you made it to here, it means you really like the video. It would mean the world to me if you could hit the subscribe button down here or sign up for our newsletter so we can give you all the hottest, newest trends we scout around the world for free, even sooner.